the newlyweds get in the limo and Tommy is like, where we going? Where you live? Um, yeah, this union was set up for success. How did it ever go awry? What's up, it's Nikki. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be reviewing the first three episodes of the Pam and Tommy miniseries that tells the story of Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee sex tape scandal. The first episode is called Drilling and Pounding. That's not tongue in cheek. It is just tacky. I feel like this introduction is not even risque or edgy and fun. It's just tacky. And that pretty much sums up this entire series in my personal opinion. Everything is just tacky. And it just feels so silly. Now, I am not familiar with these events in the slightest. Like, at all. Before watching this miniseries, I didn't even have a clue who Tommy Lee was. Like, I heard of his band, but I did not know who he was. I had heard of Pamela Anderson and Baywatch, but I have never seen Baywatch. I really didn't know anything about either of them. I had no idea they were a couple. I had no idea Pamela Anderson ever even, ever even had a sex tape. So I cannot really speak to how accurately the actors portray the actual people. However, I can tell you that the acting felt really amateurish. I felt like I was watching a parody. This felt much more like a spoof on Saturday Night Live, especially the actor playing Tommy Lee. My God, was it unbearable every time he was on the screen. But really, all around, I was cringing at the acting. One scene in particular I have to mention is when Pam and Tommy go back to her hotel room after party in Cancun. This scene felt like a joke. Like, I was very confused as to what it was that I was actually watching. Child, they are in the bathroom staring at each other. It looked so... It looked like a joke. Like, it looked like a joke. I don't know the other way to say it. The way Pam was just moving her hips and... Yes. I was like, y'all, did Pamela Anderson really talk like that? Like, is that how she talks in real life? Is this her actual voice? It was so breathy and cartoonish and childlike. It was just so mother freaking odd and really distracting. Tommy asks her if she wants to meet him. And she was like, yes, I would. I was sitting there like, nigga, who is him? Why are you talking like that? Then the camera pans down. And we get a full frontal of Bucky Dungun. Child, I had no clue. Hulu be this explicit. Okay, Hulu, I see you trying to be HBO, okay. But I was sitting here like, if y'all are in a sexual situation, why wasn't he, like, why, he, he wasn't, okay. Then the itch got even more cheesy when he winks at her after dropping his, really? Bruh, really? My nigga, for real? Okay. Winking after you drop your pants is just lame and silly but the actor's wink was terrible it was so freaking cheesy like i did not know what i was watching then lord jesus i dropped dead when pamela said he's beautiful girl why are you talking so breathy homegirl why are you breathing so loud I could not, well, how she was talking, but I don't know, baby, that's how Pam talked. Then they take a bath together, but they don't actually bathe. They just sit in the water and just... Y'all, these performances were just such a freaking joke. Who taking this seriously? Because I couldn't. I don't know any other word for it, y'all. This is literally some of the worst television I have ever seen in my life. I guess... The scene when we see Tommy playing the drums was supposed to be dynamic, exciting, or some ish, but he just looked insane, and it just looked lame. It looked like I don't know. It like a parody. I, I, uh. Tommy in this series comes off as a complete narcissist. 
but the performance felt really exaggerated. It did not come off as a larger than life rock star entitled celebrity, right? It came off as a bratty adolescent idiot man child. And hey, maybe that's how Tommy Lee was. Tommy's attitude with the Carpenters, which kickstarts this entire sex tape scandal, it was it was pretty disgusting and horrific. And he was such a horrible human being. Every time Tommy Lee was on screen, it was pretty unbearable and cringeworthy. And he was just so, that's just an annoying character, y'all. Like, I couldn't. The scene when Pam and Tommy meet in the club and he just walks over to her, shoves his empty bottle in her at her friend, like she a bottle disposal, does not say one word and just licks Pamela's face. How true to life is this? It was so obnoxious. I have no clue why she liked this man. I have no clue what she, like, saw in him, what attracted her to him, because child, I ain't see it. I am just not seeing it. Tommy was revolting. That's how he comes off in this series. Oh, oh. And why he ends up taking a shot while they're in the club and literally pitching the shot glass across the mother freaking room in a crowded club and nobody says or does ish. What the heck? You cannot tell me Nobody got hit with any shards of glass. The club owner ain't come out. Security ain't come out. Nobody ain't say nothing. My nigga, that's a safety issue. You cannot just throw a mother freaking shot glass across a crowded club. I really want to know how true to life this was. I don't know, man. Everything was just, it was just so ridiculous. For me, nothing felt authentic. Tommy and Pam felt like a cartoon. The actors are just so terrible. The rise of the internet and how no one understands the world wide web when Rain gets the idea to sell the sex tape on the internet after every studio turns them down. That was a really interesting aspect. The world we live in now, that was really interesting how they was looking at him like the internet. And I do like how the story is told through different characters. We get the story through different points of view, which I think is a good storytelling idea. So, yeah, that's some good things I can say about it. <laughs> I love the music, though some of the musical placements felt a bit off, in my opinion. I am a bit confused what it is that we are supposed to feel for these characters. Rand is set up to be a character that the viewer is supposed to empathize with, sympathize with. However, I can't really sympathize. I can't really feel sympathy for someone who would violate a woman in this way. I can't. Sorry. Especially because from what was shown in this series, again, I don't know how true to life this is, but from what was shown in the series, Pam had absolutely nothing to do with the carpenters not getting paid. She wasn't even, she didn't even know Tommy when the work started. They, they only dealt with Tommy Lee. He is the one who was supposed to pay them. He is the one who fired them unexpectedly and for no reason. He is the one that was embarrassing them and treating them like garbage. She had nothing to do with it. But really, they don't get revenge on him. The revenge is on Pam. She gets violated because of a feud that had absolutely nothing to do with her. And I am so confused with how this construction stuff works. Why in the hell are you continuously doing work for someone who ain't paying you? Like, that don't even sound logical. Tommy was in the hole about $23,000 total between Rand and Lonnie, the other carpenter. Tommy was supposed to pay them a certain amount up front, which he did not do. So why are you still doing work for him? The ish don't make sense. And buying ish out of your own pocket, Rand was scraping together pennies trying to buy something for the job. When carpenters work on people's house, they buy the pieces with money out of their pocket? Is that how this works? My nigga, if somebody is renovating their house, why are they not paying for the supplies? I am so confused. Y'all, is that how construction works? Is that how being a carpenter works? Because that ish don't sound very efficient to me. Because that is some backwards behind logic. But I also cannot really feel sorry for Rand because he gets his pay. When he steals the safe, there is 
I think watches in there, cash in there. He pawns guns that was in there. And I know he got some good money for those guns. So we see him writing checks. The last thing he does is discover that he has this sex tape. So really, he did not need to release this tape for money. He was not in some desperate state at that point. Rand had already stolen what he felt was owed to him. It was really insane to me that Rand steals an entire safe, a safe that is about the size of a freaking human being, and um, Tommy don't notice the ish is gone. That was really confusing to me. Y'all, am I crazy? Tommy goes in the garage for coffee instead of going in the kitchen. I didn't understand that. But he don't realize that the safe is gone when he go in there. I really would like to know how much of this is factual versus how much was just made up and embellished for TV. Because none of this ish sound real. After getting married in Cancun, child, and flying back to California, the newlyweds get in the limo and Tommy is like, where we going? Where you live? Um, yeah, this union was set up for success. How did it ever go awry? How are you married to somebody and asking them stuff like, do you have siblings? After being married and living together, Pam learns that Tommy Lee ain't even the nigga real name. Are you kidding me? They are married and having dinner and she asks, what is his parents' name? And she's confused when his dad's last name is not Lee. But then she gets even more confused when Tommy say his last name ain't Lee. My nigga, this is the most insane-ish I have ever heard of in my entire life. And I just want to know if the ish is real. <laughs> is this ish factual? I was tripping out because these niggas were in bed singing, getting to know you, and they don't even know each other. When I tell you, seeing somebody wife ask her husband, what is his mother's name? That ish took me out, child. That ish took me out. The only amusing line out of the entire three episodes was stop smiling. It's a effing dungeon. That was amusing. And that was about it. This entire series feels trashy and tacky. I got no other words, child. But not even in an amusing way. There is no substance. There is no style. The performances are horrid. And my dog chooses to eat at the exact point. You had all that to eat, child. There is no substance. There is no style. The performances are horrid. The dialogue is really lackluster and simple. Now, as I'm watching, I am really confused on the objective. What are we supposed to get from this? What is the takeaway? I'm like, okay, are we telling a story of two people being exploited? Are we telling the story of a woman being violated? Why does something so intimate and graphic feel so silly? We get a scene of Tommy Lee talking to his penis. And it is talking back. My nigga, see, I can't. I cannot. Child, the sheer foolishness. And then his penis says, you sound ridiculous. Are you kidding me? This entire scene is ridiculous. What is this supposed to be? Is this a real life story or is this a parody? Because I am pretty sure this scene did not happen in real life, child. This is just really odd to me. The whole thing is odd. The tone is odd. A woman was publicly violated and we have a talking penis. What are we doing exactly? Why is this a joke? What is the viewer supposed to get? What is the viewer supposed to feel? Because at this point, I just feel like this ain't as entertaining as y'all think it is. This ain't as fun as y'all was intended for it to be. And I would like to go back to my life when Pam and Tommy met the two characters from Martin. Because that is the only Pam and Tommy that I acknowledge. Y'all could keep this ish. This was foolishness.
Then I read that Pamela Anderson was not involved in this and did not want this series created, but they created it anyway. So y'all are violating this woman again. From the story that is being told in this series, Tommy Lee steals some carpenters and acts like a complete jackass. One of the carpenters decides to rob him to get what is owed to him. Decides to release an explicit sex tape that he knows is private and not consented by the parties involved. After getting his payback, his money. Specifically, though, not consented to by the woman because no one judges Ray J, only Kim Kardashian. Everybody know how this goes. And even back in the 90s, I'm sure Rand knew. No one ever gives the man in the sex tape any ish, only the woman. And I refuse to believe that Rand was not aware of how the world would view Pamela Anderson versus how the world would view Tommy Lee, the one he was supposedly trying to get the karma on. Rand just kept talking about karma, 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 karma. And Tommy getting what he deserves. But why did you choose a route that involved another party that had nothing to do with this situation? Because you really did all this ish to Pam. But hey, I only saw the first three episodes. But really, y'all, I don't, I don't even care enough about this. They didn't make me care enough. Coming in as someone who did not know about this child, I still don't care. And I feel like I don't even want to see how it is because I'm pretty sure there is no comeuppance for the men involved in violating this woman. Because the series is treated like this is all a joke, so I'm sure there's no moral to it. This entire series feels really sexist and uncomfortable and silly and outrageous. That's just my opinion. Rand and old boy standing there watching the tape was disgusting. It felt disgusting. Rand and old boy going around shopping this tape and trying to sell it and make money from it felt disgusting. This series is just not as fun as the creators think it is. This is a story about a stolen sex tape made public without the consent of the people involved. And I feel like a dark comedic tone could have worked here. But this silly, over the top, raunchy tone just does not work to me. Ran and the director guy he works with are both so sleazy. And it's a little irksome how Rand's story is told as if we should feel sorry for him or we should understand his actions. Actions which I don't care how you slice it are just not okay. But through the lens of how this story is told, Rand's character feels like a person. While Pamela Anderson and Tommy's characters feel like cartoons. I am not understanding this direction. What am I not getting, y'all? What we do see of Pamela in this series, she appears as a woman with no agency over her own life or her own career. There is a scene where she is asked, is this how you feel? Like you have to please people. And, and Pam's response is, that's all I do. I wish we got more of this depiction of Pamela Anderson as a human being instead of a cartoon. Because that's what it felt like. We get way too much shock and comedy and not enough real grit and emotion and substance. For me, this story is not offbeat and a bit absurd and fun and with real characters at its core. It feels more like a story trying and failing to be many different things. It is all over the place. And our central couple feels more like a parody than real people. And that just does not work in my personal opinion. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like my content, please make sure you support my channel. Like this video. Comment your opinions down below. Did you agree with my take? Did you disagree? Make sure you subscribe for more TV show and movie reviews. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.